The scholars all agree that the cutting of the hand of the thief is obligated at once two three once once two three two three two three righteous Muslim men bear witness to the theft if an adult no non caused same person steals it is obligated to implement the legal punishment if he confesses to it or if two acceptable witnesses testify to his act however there are two further conditions that must be met before the legal punishment is implemented the value of the item stolen must be above the level of the nisab and the stolen item must have been safeguarded in a normal fashion that the messenger of allah said do not cut the hand of a thief except for something worth a quarter of a dinner or more the scholars all agree that amputation is obligatory when the thief steals something safeguarded or protected in a normal fashion that requires amputation that is meant what what is meant by safeguarded or protected in a normal fashion is that the item was kept in a way that one safeguard similar items such as in a gate gated house in a safe in a locked location and so forth thus the value valuable items was not left out in the open tempting anyone to take it safeguarded refers to what the people would usually consider safeguarding of that type of wealth thus a warehouse is where seeds and straw are safeguarded a stable is where animals are kept a pen is where sheep are kept a gerine is where the fruit fruits are stored that the messenger of Allah was asked about the fruits hung up to dry he replied if a person in need takes some in which in his person in in needs takes some in his hung up he replied in if a person in need takes some in his mouth with without filling his clothing there is nothing to be done to him if someone carries off something he is to be fined twice the value and punished and if anyone steals something after it has been moved to the place where dried fruits are stored and the amount stolen reaches the value of a shield then he is to have his hand amputated the person who has had his property stolen any uh, may forgive the, the thief if this is done before the case is taken to the authorities someone said i was sleeping in the mosque on a garment of mine which cost 30 dirhams a man came and stole it from me the man was caught and taken to the prophet who ordered his hand to be amputated i went to him and said are you going to cut his hand simply because of 30 dirhams i hereby sell it to him and allow him to pay me over time and the prophet then said why didn't you do that before he was brought to me <laughs> Scholars agree that if a thief steals once, his right hand should be amputated. If he steals a second time, his right foot should be amputated. However, they differ concerning the stealing a third time. After having had his right hand and right foot amputated, most say that his left hand should then be amputated. At this point, in his notes this has been authentically narrated I'll, may Allah be pleased with them as recorded by
continues that if he steals again, his fo right foot is to be amputated. If he steals after that, he is to be punished in a manner decided by a judge and pre imprisoned. Brigandry. Brigandry refers to a band of Muslims with an Islamic state wrecking wrecking havoc, causing bloodshed, destroying wealth, disgracing people's honour and destroying crops, thereby threatening the religion, culture, system and law. It's ruling. Brigandry is Brigandry is one of the greatest of crimes and therefore its punishment is one of the most far reaching uh, uh, reaching. Allah has stated the recompense of those who wage war against Allah and his messenger and do mischief in the land is only that they shall be killed or crucified or their hands and feet and their feet be cut off on the opposite side or be exiled from the land that is their disgrace in this world and a great torment is theirs in the hereafter.